It was on the test. Yeah, it says offline. No, uh -oh. did you break it? Though. Oh, starting. Oh, there we go. Oh, so soon. So soon. <laughs> And okay, yeah, we're live for sure. Okay, we're live. Woo! Okay. What's up? Hey YouTube. Mix me a girl here. I'm just gonna get everything pulled up on my laptop. Um, I'm here with Stone Coat Countertops. What's up everybody? How are you guys? Super exciting. And Johnny, of course. Um, and we're gonna create an awesome resin piece today. So that's very exciting. Mike's doing all the work, he's mixing everything us up for us. I'm getting prepped. I'm ready to rock. Yes, ma'am. I'm stoked to have you guys here. How do you guys like the uh, the shop here? Oh my gosh. Incredible. This is like, I'm going to just come up here like one month a year and we'll just record all the videos for the year and then I'm going to take the rest of the year off. That's I love what it. we're going to do. I love it. That's my life plan. We are having fun. <laughs> all right. Hey, Mamesy, Heather, Tina, Margaret, Dina, Veronica, Peaches, Diana, that's a cool way to spell that. The Resin Life, Cindy, Kathy, Marcel, and Carmelina. Welcome, everybody. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up, guys. So, hey from Peru. Very cool. Brazil. All right, so we're getting, um, we're using the countertop resin, yeah? Yeah, we're using Stone Coat Countertop Epoxy. Oh, we're so using nice. uh, some cool additives. So you've been playing a little bit with our dyes. Yeah, so these are the Illumilite, um, which I've done a couple videos on recently, guys. Like on the, um, I use that on my pumpkin. I did resin pour on a pumpkin, and then in the uh, aluminum discs as well. Yeah, those are fun. So we're gonna use those. But first, what I have is I have clear epoxy already mixed up. Um, I got prepped before we came on. I mixed this up. It's a one to one ratio, and then we're gonna add our diamond dust. And our white metallic. Yeah. That's all gonna go in this entire batch. Whoa. Okay. Then I have a I have some gold, some alumilite gold. This look in that cup right now at what that stuff does on its own. Chris? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm using the, the their fancy setup here with the multiple angles, cool. guys. Yeah. So fancy. So it kind of like sits on top and it's very interesting. So what I'm thinking is we're gonna take this whole piece and in the spirit of collaboration, we're gonna turn it into an artistic countertop. And what I'm thinking is all of us get our hands in and this is all gonna be with our hands. So I mixed it really thoroughly and I'm gonna, what I do is I pour puddles of white and metallic, the, the diamond dust. Then I add a couple of drops of each of these and then I'll add a little gold and I'll move it in a, in a way where you just move it enough to where you like it, and then you make another puddle, and you're gonna go a cool. different direction. Okay, so that you get all these opposing directions of the same flavor hitting each other, yeah. and I think yeah. we'll have a cool uh, cool piece. So this is a funky new technique that Mike is showing me that he came up with, so I haven't done this yet, so. Are you excited to try? Yeah. yeah. All right, first <laughs> thing we're gonna do is add the white metallic powder. Question, how big is this board? This is 84 inches, or seven feet, by two feet or 24 inches. Nice. Wow. Cool. And it's MDF, it's primed. Yes. Yeah, um, this is actually, um, this is a good question because all we did is take an old board that we really didn't like anymore and we sanded it with 220 grit. So this has been epoxied already. So mm -hmm. if you feel the edges, they're super smooth already. Oh, yeah. That's just because it already has epoxy on MDF. <laughs> yeah. So if you have countertops that you don't like after five years, just redo it. Sand it, paint and primer in one, you're ready for new counters. That's simple. Boom. Recycle, reduce, reuse. Yes. Hey, I want to thank Mitch. Mitch is behind the Facebook. We're live on Facebook on Stone Coat Countertops. Chris is running the controls. Wait, do your in front of the camera. Wait, no, wrong camera, wrong camera, Chris. There you go. Yes. <laughs> We're going to have some fun tonight, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, we are. Let us know where you guys are watching from. Yeah. Yes, please. Where you all at? Oh, man. John. It's flaky in here. Woo. You, this is called a fairy fart. <laughs> Johnny, you want to mix this up yeah, and, 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 and go really, really slow at first. Yeah, so we don't get all dust. Yep. Dust. Basically, I just have all these men working for me. <laughs> men at work. 
stand here and look pretty. <laughs> You're doing amazing. Yep, yep. Uh, okay. It's so smart that I feel like Edward and uh, We got Adelaide. people from Atlanta, from Florida. Uh, any idea when Stone Coat might ship to Canada? Um, we're actually working on two distributors right now, full time in Canada. But if you want it in Canada, Call our customer service. I know we're doing freight forwarding out there right now. Okay. So if you're getting any kind of amount, that's a good way to go. But we're working on two full-time distributors right now. Yeah, it's just really difficult with legalities, guys. It's not you. It's it's the mail system. But anyways, um, we have uh, Minnesota, Maryland, Vegas, Ohio, Missouri, Iowa, all kinds of places. Texas, Connecticut, <laughs> New Orleans. Yeah, where's Tallahassee? This looks like a stop for a second, Texas. Johnny. Check this out. This looks like diamonds, man. It does. And Liquid Brazil. diamonds yeah, right here. Diamonds in the sky. Yes. Very pretty. <laughs> that is sick. Can you Voice sing that? Can, you, can you sing that again? You're beautiful like diamonds in the sky. Like diamonds in the sky. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. The, uh, <laughs> voices of angels. Well, at least one here. Uh, All you guys in you. Texas, I see we got a lot of people tuning yeah. in from Texas. I am teaching a class there next month with RK3 Designs with Rhonda. Ooh, awesome. So you guys should definitely make it out there. We're gonna be teaching resin and acrylic pouring. You can sign up for one or for both. That is cool. Gonna be when is that? That is at the end of November, like November 23rd, I think, or something like that. But it's on um, Rhonda's website. RK3designs.com, RK3 yeah. Awesome. All right, Johnny, that's good, man. Oh, yeah. You guys Ooh, ready? Yeah. I'm going to do, um, we'll just kind of rotate and we'll do this together. Thank Please, you, Amanda. Man. So I'm going to start and you guys will. So again, I'm, I'm, my goal is like, I'll probably do this corner maybe at this angle and then we'll do another one coming in at a different angle or just an organic shape. Yes, okay? show me. So I'm going to pour a little blob. Blob. Oh, I love that color as it is. It's pretty dope. Okay. I'm going to take a little bit of the, uh, this is the violet translucent. Now watch how much I put in, okay? This dye goes a long way. Just a little bit. You don't need a lot. And then I'm going to go the ocean blue translucent. It looks black. Yeah. That's the one I've been using, guys. It's like my current favorite. i got to cut this tip. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to put too much in. Uh-oh. Okay, that's good. I want. I, I, well, I want to cut the tip. Yeah. Or else we're gonna have a problem. Maybe. Let me grab a knife. We're live. Yeah. Scissors. <laughs> yeah, scissors is. But you do you. Yeah. All right, we're good. <laughs> oh. So HFS, the artist Haven says, got my first stone coat order today. Yeah. That's awesome. Ooh. Woo Thank woo. you. Oh, All November twenty right. third. Thank you, Tiffany. There goes yes, there goes a little Johnny. bit of gold. El Spicy's tuning in. Oh, yeah. El Spicy, I've I've he's been all over. Oh man. yeah, Spicy's the man. All right, you ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Ooh, that's the magic. Hello. <laughs> Hello. And you don't want to over mix it. I'm just going enough to cover the board. I love it. Okay. Yeah. Let's dump it. All right. <laughs> Let's so get that to work. that section's done. So just do section by section and we're gonna oppose oppose whatever section you run into. Okay. I'm gonna put section for you, section for Johnny, section for everybody. Are you gonna do what? No, you're on the camera. <laughs> okay. And so this can be done over a wooden countertop. You just need to lightly sand with 220 grit. This is not I might find a yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're good. I just don't know why this isn't coming out good. Mm. We need like a pin to poke out the tip, perhaps. Yep, in just Here's a, seconds. This technique is not long. That's good, yeah? Wow. There we go. Come behind the seams real quick. Yeah, that's plenty. That's what I thought. We probably don't need to keep putting the caps on either. Probably not. So we'll keep the oh, caps off. Yeah, fast. I noticed that. <laughs> it looks a little dodgy. And then the gold goes a long way, and the gold turns part of it green, which is another fun yeah, unintended. Yeah, blue with the gold. It's an cool. oxidized look. I dig it. I'm now, does it find to go through this and over with the gold, or should I stick to the outside? <laughs> <laughs> or is it no rules? No holes uh, I don't think there's rules at this point. Okay, good. Well, this <laughs> is just incredibly fun. Oh, this Boom. is. Oh wow. Oh yeah. That's a lot of gold. Oh, I am so gold. <laughs> You're golden. I love gold. 
I'm going extra purple on mine. Is this about what I should be doing? Yep. Ish. And just don't over mix it. That's uh, that's the best advice I can give. Over here, Mike. Okay, guys, let's do this. Man, this is gorgeous. I dig it. I love Marcy, it. you said you like these colors. Mm-hmm. These are my favorites. No rules, Johnny. <laughs> no laws, no limits. Uh, uh, Gina is asking Marcy, how much do the classes cost? Oh, um, okay. So the one in um, Texas is, I think it's like one ninety nine. But Where's there's also the, uh, can I get the dyes and the gold? If you yes, sign sir. up for Rhonda's class, it's a discount. So check it out on her website. And then I do have Thank a Los sure. Angeles yeah, class coming up also it. in January which I'm super excited about. That's gonna be a three-day class, you guys. Day one, acrylic pouring. Day two, resin art. And day three, business. Oh, cool. How business. to make a business out of your art. So that's gonna be huge. If you are considering doing art as a business, I highly recommend it. And price-wise, it's like kind of ridiculous. How oh, inexpensive it is. I just this just cool. Yeah. You're the man. Yeah, do uh, more do, 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 here, I'll pour just, this is all you need, and then add a little bit of color, or you could even or keep can parts even of it, it in. white. Yeah. I was going to say, oh, I might yeah. just do. And then make sure, yeah, like, you don't be, don't Daniel, worry about going another direction here, go too. On yeah. top of Formica, you will just need to sand, apply a bonding primer, and then you're ready for epoxy. So people are asking about classes in Michigan, Ohio, and <laughs> Alabama. Are you yeah. going to start yeah. traveling circuit? I actually am next year, uh, but it's not going to be like I can't go to every state. Right. It's just like not possible. Now, if you want to get together a large group of friends and have me come to your state, you can do that. Cool. I'll, I'll do that. Private class, but you need to get together like 15 of your friends. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, I am working on something on the East Coast. Um, and who knows? I'm going to do a flyover. Chris, you want me to grab the live PD cam from Marcy's channel? That'd be awesome. All right. I'm going to try to do Thank this with you, two Tiffany. cameras. Thank you, Tiffany. You're amazing. Um, so Tiffany just got the links for you guys on my channel down in the chat box there. So check, check those out. Um, oh, this is really cool this is killer yeah guys thank you so this one i just spots. added blue into it so that you get like different different patchwork yeah. you know what i mean yeah a blend yes blend so sure that was Oop. two cameras two hands whoa that was awesome <laughs> that's why we pay him the big bucks oh thanks tina Tina's scheduling a class for me in Florida. It looks Ooh, like. yeah. <laughs> nice. Florida's awesome. Florida's good. It is so hot there and uncomfortable. Not in January, it's not. That's true. We saw some gators out there. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Yeah, it was cool. Were you like, that's not a knife? This is a knife. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of gold. AJ Marcy <laughs> is asking coast. where you are based out of. Los Angeles, LA. California. Nice. Came all the way to Oregon? Yep, like totally. This is our fifth collab? Something Whoa. like that, yeah. What's the fifth anniversary? Isn't that something wooden? I don't know. Wrong, wrong, so There's straight. wood. It's jade. Jade? Oh, no, I don't where's know. my jade? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were supposed to give me jade. No. Oh, we kind of have some in here, so. Uh, uh? Yeah. And yeah, we're missing some spots over here. That's gonna. Yeah. How would we feel about doing a gold streak in here somewhere, like a thin one? We would feel unhappy. Okay. But maybe on like the corner. Happy wife, happy life. Yeah. Like a little... Like, I think maybe this way. All right, now I'm gonna Lord, do... Yes, this sure is in the spirit of... Over Corian. Of, uh... You wanna so clean it real well? well? Light Sorry, what? Sand with two so I'm just... And then... I'm just gonna pour something out here. Any slick okay. surface oh, countertop. Sure. This is a and dirty pour. Fine. A of like, like that dye, yeah. lightly sand, clean, bonding primer, then time for epoxy. We have and guys, for any spots that I missed, I'm just tapping them out. Check this out. The resin will just blend. 
Oh. I don't know if they can check it out. Oh. <laughs> Let's go. Live PD cam. Oh, there we go. There you go, Chris. Oh, yeah. Getting in there. That's cool. I love those veins. Johnny, how's it going there? I'm going good. <laughs> I don't know. It's either awesome or terrible. I can't. Oh see my god! Yet. That looks rad. Oh my gosh! Sorry. Anyone know the link ink colors? Okay, the colors we're using are Illuminite, Ocean Blue, and Violet. Those are the two ink colors we use. All right, use. Johnny, I'm gonna I'm gonna pour a little bit of this over that just yes, to please. give it some depth. Sure, man, go for it. <laughs> and then hey, in the bucket, we... I asked if it was okay. Yeah, you said a little. Anyways, in the bucket we mix the diamond dust and the white metallic powder. Yeah. Yes. Okay, directly into that bucket. Jennifer, Did you, you say you would maybe come to Atlanta, Georgia time. sometime? I don't know that I got Georgia on my list. Um, I might not get any closer than Florida specifically, but who knows? They have good peaches in Georgia. It just depends on how much of a demand it is for any particular city, you know? Okay, so help me out here. How do I make it better? No, we um, are. Okay, Check so, it out. yeah, the Charming Giraffe, here's mm. what we did, and I'll show you I'm those Illuminite bottles in just a second. Um, but we put clear resin down with white metallic powder that it there had white metallic powder and diamond dust in there. So we put puddles of that down. We then added a couple drops of ink and a little gold on the outside. And we use that in different directions to kind of just make this really cool abstract piece. That's literally what we did there. I'll show you guys the Illumilite bottles. Where in Florida? I don't know. It's a large state, isn't it? Probably near uh, Tampa, I'm thinking. So, I don't know about showing you the exact Illuminite bottles. I don't know. Can we go to this one, Chris? This is what the Illuminite bottles look like. Show it on the handheld camera there. Okay. <laughs> Um, so these are ink. They're very concentrated. A little bit goes a long way right. and they're just gorgeous. Like you like that? So they're not metallic. They're not, you know, the Marcia, glittery check that out. stuff in here. Nice. Do you like that? Oh, look at you. That's a collaboration within a collaboration. That is. So artistic. Mike just saved me. <laughs> yeah. No, man. It's. Sorry, I took my gloves off. Tappity tap tap. tap. I love the diamond tap. dust in there. I love how deep it looks and I love that every See, I like the different, I like the different shapes. Yeah. A lot. I'm actually, I want to dig this out and just run. <laughs> All right, it looks like we're getting on the Atlanta, Georgia group together. Cool. Sheesh. Cool. <laughs> All right, I guess Georgia. maybe we'll come to Georgia. Why not? I want Atlanta. some peach pie. Peach cobbler, baby. Yeah, a peach cobbler. All right, who's going to torch this? You are, or yeah, I am, well, whatever well. you want. Yeah. I do see a couple more spots. Where? Tell me. Just look for little dots. Okay. Oh, wait, there's one there. Hang on. <laughs> you sure? There's one there. It's so glittery. So here on Facebook, AJ is asking how long will it take to dry? It depends on your temperature and humidity, but generally you want to wait 24 hours for resin to cure. That is killer. Don't you like that? That is awesome. Um, yeah, but you it could be dry in less like 12 to 15 hours, depending on if it's like if you're in a pretty hot environment, it'll dry faster. If it's cold, it might take a little longer. Definitely a few more spots, babe. Yeah. And then there's a whole section over here. Yeah, I see them. Yeah. Torch points. Woo, woo. <laughs> do you ever use the interference colors? I don't understand what to do with them. I do. What they do is they give you a little tint of a color. 
So I will sometimes mix them with white if I wanna get a particular like pearly color, but it, like I, you wouldn't wanna use the green interference with red, right? It would be better to use a warm interference color to mix with that, at least that's what I do. Uh, but yeah, it just gives you like the little subtle hint of a color while looking pearly, basically. Oh, look, look at that from back here. I mean, this looks really, oh, really fun. Oh, set my phone in resin. No, I have to agree with you, sir. <laughs> Doesn't that look, don't you like all the different motions? It's yeah. amazing. Um, it's like a dance. It is. I've used it with both clear and mixed with white. It shows good with either. Um, I've used it to just kind of tint white, but you can use it w by itself totally. Yeah, do this on your dining table. Hey guys, don't forget to thumbs up if you haven't already. Woo woo! Um, is Stone Coat Countertops non-toxic and fume-free? It is non-toxic, correct? And it has zero VOCs. Yes. Yeah, show them the bottle there, uh, which is the, the harmful fumes. So like the resin that you buy at Michael's and Home Depot generally are fairly toxic. Um, but the, uh, this, the Stone Coat Countertops resin and some of the higher quality resins are, you're not gonna have those issues. I'm gonna torch some more, guys. So Mike Payne is asking here on Facebook about backsplash. What's the scoop on that? <laughs> That's a general question. Backsplash, we, we, we typically pour it flat and then install it vertically. That's a good scoop. Marcy, will you let Facebook know where to find you? Mixed Media Girl on YouTube. Damn. Yeah. I also, I just came out with an acrylic pouring book for anyone who's unaware. It's called The Paint Pouring Workshop. It's available on Amazon or in Barnes & Noble or your local bookstore generally. So you can like go walk into Barnes & Noble and buy it. It's very cool. I am really thrilled with this piece. Marcy, what do you think? I love it. How do you like all I, the I different I think it will movement? fit in the back of my car. <laughs> right? I think this might find a home behind us. I don't know. This is pretty sweet. <laughs> Golly. I told Mike anything he doesn't just give me, I'll just secretly take so he'll come back to the shop and everything will be missing. So just you want to know a secret on edges? Yeah. So if you come back in about three hours with a little bit of acetone and dampen the edge and then rub it with your hand, you can almost sand that edge because it'll wet it out. If you do it right now, all of it's going to come off. Yeah. But if you do it late in the pour, you can smooth those out by hand very well. Interesting. That's a pro tip. That is a pro tip. Pro tip. Ding. Ding. Yeah, there's... Golly. I really love that we all had a hand in this, no pun intended. Literally. And, uh, and it just... <laughs> Strap it to the roof. Woo! <laughs> uh, Oh yeah, Charming Giraffe is coming to Cali. Oh yeah. We are going to party it up. Yeah, we are. Great pro tip, Michelle says. Wow. This coming is awesome. To the gold. I love those lines, Mike. You do? I do, like that's totally my style. That is a great call. Yeah. Thank you. Well played, well played. You, you just kind of see what the art did and then just accentuate it, right? Yeah. I don't yeah. like too round. I want to kind of stretch them. Like, see how that's kind of round right here? I like mm -hmm. to just bring it out a little bit. Boom. All right. We're going to go back with the... Are they still live? Yeah, we're here. <laughs> Hello. That looks killer, Johnny. Yeah, it came out all right. It came out well. And that gold and blue mixing makes green, you mm -hmm. know, makes those tinges of green. It makes like a teal, which I love. So we only have, you know, a few colors in this thing. Look at what the gold does there where it was just, mm -hmm. it gives it a it's like, it's like embedded like a mica. Are you able yeah. to like do like kind of this view, Mitch? Yep. I don't know. Where you can see the gold sitting on top. Yeah. Do you like the uh, diamond dust in this? Yeah, it makes it super sparkly. Yeah, the diamond, the <laughs> yeah, can you guys see that gold sitting on top? This, this would be a very exotic piece of stone. 
<laughs> Mitch, we have it kind of blows it out, but it's really floating. Sorry. We we have seen granite like this. <laughs> My reflection. <laughs> Sorry, go on. <laughs> no, no, I'm just saying I think we have seen granite like this, Mitch, and it's not cheap. No. It's a class in Brazil. Hard. Yikes, Ooh, I'm not sure about that. Happen. Hey Clara. Clara. <laughs> I'll translate. You'll trans okay. Booyah. Chris is down. <clears throat> So we'll have a camera guy, at least. Skywalker of Torch Punch. Isn't this like the fanciest live guys on right. my channel? <laughs> You're setting the bar high now. I know, next right? One. Next week is going to be like. <laughs> okay, I'm done touching it. I really like Marcy where we did some just like this was just the blue. This was all the more colors purple. this was more gold yeah. like I, I like the patchwork and then I like coming over it with that I got something in my eye oh I'm sorry no you're fine <laughs> all right well ah. I'm done I am I'm loving that thing is there any more questions you want to do some Q&A yeah so <laughs> if Tiffany said if I got some countertop epoxy to put on a coffee table should I do a clear top on clear coat on top of it I would like yeah. if you're doing an art piece it's best to put the clear coat, especially for furniture where you're going to be using it a lot. It's going to get heavy. You said you want that clear coat on it. Yeah, totally. I agree. And for food safety, yeah, you want that clear coat. Harold so. here is asking what the minimum temp and ideal temperature for working with the epoxy. Good question. Ideal temperature, 77 degrees. Exactly. Are we ever ideal? Well, right now we're... 73. 73 so you can range between 60 and 90 ideal 77 and when you're at 60 and you're really that cold you want to re-warm up the bottles especially coming in the winter put them in front of a heat source get them nice and warm and then crank your heat up yeah. in that room okay and then I put mine in front of my heater my yeah. space heater for 30 minutes or whatever yeah if not it's going to be thicker you know it's going to be yeah. harder harder to and mix. you can tell too because it'll be really white yes. and it's harder to get the air bubbles out too when it's cold yes so when it's like really clear you can tell it's a better temperature than it when it's really white if, if you're hand mixing if you're mixing it with a drill it's all over but you're anyways. right right <laughs> but yeah you'll be able to tell the difference but yeah there's a wide temperature range you can do but that's uh we always suggest if you haven't worked with epoxy before try a small sample board first before you attack a big project get it down so this is what we did over here is uh a smaller version we have a smaller version without any gold in it and so it, <laughs> hey, it gave us a a look that we really liked and then boom this was born uh, says it looks Milky Way -ish. Oh, nice, nice. Chris, Chris, have you gone overhead at all? Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So someone asked, can you put a hot pan on the countertop without making marks on the counter? I mean, I wouldn't recommend it. it it's actually very heat resistant. We've tested that with a uh, with a uh, frying pan with yeah. eggs with and cookie you sheets. And have a video on that too, yeah, right? Yeah, we do. And, and I mean, it's very heat resistant. We don't recommend making a habit out of it, but in an emergency, it hasn't damaged the surface uh, yeah. when we're doing these tests. No. So check out, what do you know what the name of that so video durability is? Durability videos. Durability videos on stonecoatcountertops.com and uh, also Bronson just did one where he banged the counter, he lit it on fire. It was the pretty counter that I made, uh -oh. but it still looks beautiful. All right, <laughs> so, good. That's how durable well, it is. Well, the one there in our kitchen, we lit on fire and did all those tests and hit it with sledgehammers and it's pretty, it's pretty amazing. Yeah, it is really durable. But yeah, you wouldn't want to like set it on the counter and leave it there for a long time or it, like just be logical. You wouldn't do that with any normal counter really, I think. I hope. <laughs> um, nope, this is the only project we're doing for tonight. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, how do you a big beat one. that? How I do know, right? We're we out of space. We can't top that. <laughs> oh, look at that overhead shot. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There you go. Thumbs up. That's a thumbs down. Thumbs up. There you go. <laughs> I'm so confused. Yeah. Same. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing. There we go. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I really, really hope you enjoyed this. I really appreciate you joining us, and I appreciate you guys. I wish I had a, like, I need a mixed media girl award. 
to give to you. Yeah, I need a mixed media girl I award. Know. Like, well, okay, I, I did make I you a t-shirt. A, I'm a mixed media girl. I made him a t-shirt, okay? <laughs> oh, yes, I do have a t-shirt. I got a You Got This t-shirt. You got a You Got This yes, t-shirt. Yes, I'm happy. For the whole Stone Coat crew, yeah, okay? <laughs> you made t-shirts for our whole company. You do not owe me an award. <laughs> but anyways, I really appreciate you guys joining me. You're epic. Thank you for your help. And until... Oh, look who just got here. Next time. Oh, Catherine's going to pop in and say hi. We're live. Oh, it's so yeah. exciting. Come say hi. Check out your awesome staff. Oh, oh my gosh. I know. Isn't this killer? Oh. Y'all got to see this in real life. It's so I beautiful. I did all your favorite parts of the ones I did. Yay. Yep. <laughs> all your favorite parts, Marcy did it. Yeah. <laughs> all the ones that are no good, Johnny did it. Yep. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. It's okay. That's right. It's all right. Looks amazing. Uh, great, man. This looks great, guys. It reminds me of those sand. Dust um, issues. The sand, the colored sand, and how it has a oh, sediment. Oh, yeah, yeah. Isn't that yeah, what that reminds really you of? Make sure, make sure. We try to go different directions, you know? Yeah. Cool. Okay, cool. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is awesome. I'm so glad I got to see it. That's yeah. so cool. Yeah. All right, so from Stone Cold Countertops to Mixed Media Girl, you, you got, got this. this. We'll see you on the next Mixed Media Girl video. Yeah. Woo. -hoo. Woo. <laughs> this is cool, man. We out.